Hi, Ilan from Chutzpah Media here today doing a tutorial on how to use the ProSlice plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 from Pixel Film Studios. So once you've downloaded and installed the plugin into Final Cut Pro 10, we can open up Final Cut Pro 10. I've actually got a uh, demo clip, which is what we will recreate here. A very simple uh, split screen here, vertical line, wide shot on the left, close up on the right. When I play that back, it looks like this. Kid throws the die in the wide shot and I've matched that in the close up. How do we do that? Well, this is how we do it. I'll just delete this clip firstly from our timeline so we can start again. Our first step is to find the shots that we wish to use. In this case, uh, going through here in the wide shot, I just marked an in point. Uh, don't worry so much about the out point yet. I'll just drag that to our timeline. Same with the wire, uh, sorry, with the close up. Just find the in point, and again, just drag that shot next to, next to it in the uh, timeline. The next uh, step is to add your generator clip, your pro slice generator clip. In this case, I'm just using the uh, bisect one simple split screen. As you can see from the presets, you've got vertical splits, horizontal. Uh, you've got three-way splits, four-way splits, and five-way splits. So in this case, I'm just using the uh, two-way here. Drag that clip into the timeline next to my other two shots. Now I can just close this, give myself a bit more room. And the next step is to make sure that all three clips are of the same duration. In this case, I want my first clip to be five seconds, so I'll just do Control D on that clip and type in five zero zero enter. Makes that five seconds long. Do the same thing with the second clip. Oh, sorry. Control D, five zero zero. And same with our generator clip. Just do Control D on that and five zero zero. Enter. The next step is to make compound clips out of each shot that you will be using in the generator clip. So in this case, I'll click on the first clip, do a Control click, and go New Compound Clip and give this a name, I'll call it Slice A. Same with our second clip, click on that, uh, right click on that, sorry, and go New Compound Clip, call that Slice B. Great, done. That's it. The next step is in our generator clip, go to the very first frame. This is very important. You go to the first frame of the generator clip, uh, and here in our inspector palette, you'll see two areas here, left clip and right clip, where you will enter where the shot is coming from. So we click in this window here on left clip, changes our window here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to position our, our cursor here at the first frame of our first clip. Kind of a bit picky to do this, but I need to zoom in a bit. There you go. And click there and it adds it into the left hand side. Same for the right clip, we click here in this window and we position our cursor there on the first frame of slice B and hit enter and go apply clip. Now our split screen has been set up. Once that is done, we can delete from our timeline here these two compound clips, we don't need them in the timeline anymore they have been saved here in our uh, event uh, bin. So when we come back to our clip here, we can see that we have a variable such as being able to change the position of our split. We can, in each uh, side of the frame position, our clip, we can uh, make the shot bigger or smaller and we can even rotate it. All of these things are keyframable over time, so you can animate these things. You can also, over here, you can see, you can create a thicker separator. You can change the color if you want to, to uh, blue, red, whatever you want. Let's, oh, that's nice, let's do that nice orangey. Good. Um, so that's pretty much that. Uh, you can render it to play it back smoothly or if you're like me, you'll just sort of step through slowly and see how things look, if things line up and are right. 
if you need to change the endpoints of each clip, this is the only thing that's a little bit tricky, you need to navigate to that compound clip. So for example, the left clip is slice A. So over here in my window, I've got slice A as a compound clip. Double click on that, that will open that clip up in the timeline. That, sh that clip is already five seconds. So without uh, adjusting the duration of it, I'll hit T on the keyboard click in the clip and that will, that will just slip and slide the shot uh, without adjusting the duration of the clip and you can reposition the endpoint like that. That's if uh, you need to you know, fine tune things. Going back to the clip in the window, um, you know, you render that, be able to play it back smoothly, no problem. The one thing, uh, and this goes uh, into what I just showed you there with going into the compound clips to adjust the endpoints. For example, here in the timeline, if you've added this shot in amongst a whole lot of other shots and you go, you know what, I want to pick it up, I want to start the shot there. So I'll hit B for blade and cut the clip, delete this bit at the beginning, and you'd think, great, that will pick it up later. That's not true. What it's done, it may have uh, cut the duration of this generated clip down to three and a half seconds, but the in points of each clip within our generator is the same as it was before. It will always start from the first frame of each clip. So that's why I was saying that if you wanted to make sh shots shorter or pick it up later, you need to go into the individual compound clips of your uh, generator, of your uh, slice, uh, and adjust it there. That's the only kind of like downside. Um, so that's the very basics of creating a split. There are 3D controls for the uh, clip. So you can do things like uh, you know, put it on an angle, flip it back, all that kind of thing. And again, you can affect all of that over time, animate it, make it look a little bit more interesting than what I've just done now. So there you go, that's uh, ProSlice in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please add them to the comments below. And thank you very much for watching.